Almost in the center of this vast area of Turkey is Ankara, the capital. Though it's on the site of an old Hittite town, it's virtually a creation of the last 30 years. Ankara was the brainchild of Ataturk, the dictator who founded a democratic republic. When he died 21 years ago yesterday, the Turks determined on this monument to him, a gigantic mausoleum in yellow stone with a ceiling of gold and red mosaics and a floor of marble. sundown and the changing of the guard. Every year on Republic Day, October the 29th, the crowds swarm in from Anatolia for the big parade, the climax of the national holiday. The president of Turkey, Mr. Chalal Bayar, arrives to take the salute. He's 75 and the big parade's a tough day for him. Old-style Eastern dress may be forbidden, but no government's too worried about that with an election coming and women's votes to woo. Western ideas of dress are so firmly accepted, nobody minds very much if a few old dears stick to the Eastern style of headwear. takes great pride in its institutions of higher learning, like the University of Ankara. Here, women teachers and students are accepted on the same terms as men, in contrast to their lot in the old days when they were kept secluded, veiled, and illiterate. Promising that as the people were sufficiently educated, they would be entrusted with a greater measure of democracy, the government has